Hey what's up my name is Omari Harbin and in this video I'm going to show you how to get your small business online in under an hour. Now we've got a photography studio rental business that we've been running on the side for a little over a year and I decided it was time that we uh, make this business legit. So um, I'm going to walk you through the same steps that I took to get our small business online uh, to register in that business and um, so that you can follow along and apply this to your business all right so step one was to secure our domain online and so to do that i used squarespace to register a domain and i'll walk you through the steps here and we'll come up with a fictional business let's just call it photo class all right cool look at that photoclass.org um, photo class nyc um, I like photoclass.org. It's only $12 for the first year, it seems. Um, so I would just check this out. And once I've done that, and I uh, fill in my information there, and pay the, the $12 for that domain, next step would be to set up an email on that domain so squarespace allows us to do that um, by registering and purchasing a, a google workspace account which you can do by clicking this link applying it to one of your websites and selecting a plan so you can pay an annual plan and this allows you to have a custom and secure business email on that same domain that you just purchased. Um, you can, I guess, select your tier based off of the cloud storage. So anywhere from 30 gigabytes to 5 gigabytes. And Google Meet video and voice conferencing. So if that's important to you, um, different tiers there as well. So um there you go that's how you get your domain set up and once you've done that you can log in to to gmail um, under your your domain and now you're ready to build your website and we can do this in squarespace as well so let's pop on over here so this is called squarespace blueprint and it's squarespace's uh, template builder so let's just go and we're going to create a, a very simple website just to get we just want to get started here and we're going to pretend that we've got a like a, a photography education business so our site is going to be called photo class and we can now build our home page. So we want to have an intro, maybe a, a services section, appointment section, and let's throw a footer in there. Maybe a social section, yeah. And an about. All right. Um, Let's see. Um, now I'm getting interest curious. All right. We'll leave it at that. All right. Next. Okay. Now we can add some other pages. So an about page, a contact page, appointments page, let's say a course. All right. Cool. And now let's choose a color palette. Uh, let's choose something bright. And font parent so let's go with mm, okay yeah kind of well uh, oh all right kind of like that just go with that and now we have our template is ready And we can uh, personalize your website text faster than ever. So by selecting continue, 
um, you agree that you're responsible for any text you can create. Let's let's do it. All right. So describe your new site. So this is a photo or photography. Oops. Photography education business. We offer classes weekly for new photographers. Okay. Choose our writing style. Uh, let's keep it friendly. All right. So generate in your text. This may take up to 60 seconds. Review your site text to make sure it's accurate. Uh, select any text in the editor and keep, I think it said keep what you want to use. And this is actually my first time uh, using using this feature altogether. All right, cool. Dis oh, look at this. Discover the magic of photography. Fun, informative class. Look at that. Try in our photo class. Discover the art of photography. All right. Um, I want to see what the other pages are. Let's see if it came up with anything for the course. Okay. What? Okay. Cool. All right. Let's check out the about. Welcome to photography. Welcome to photo class. All right, so I'm pretty satisfied with the the demo content there. All right, cool. So the next step would be to uh, subscribe and make this website live. Um, but while I'm here, let me go back a step and let us go back to email. And so this is Google Workspace. This is where we would sign up for a Google Workspace account so that we can have Gmail. And also we would obviously we would want to customize everything here. So we would want to change the footer information to our actual business info. The other place where you would want to change your business uh, information is back here. It's been changed. Uh, Let's see. No. Okay. Uh, so we got website. Let's check out marketing. Selling. There we go. Business information. So we would add our new business email here. Our contact, physical location, and our business hours. All right, so now that we have our Squarespace site, we've got a domain, we've got an email, we've got a website. Our next step would be to set up our booking system, which is already uh, waiting for us here. So this right here, via uh, what's called Acuity or Squarespace Scheduling. And the way this works is I would click set up and that would take me into the schedule and dashboard. And this is where I would um, create, if I'm doing classes, I would put the classes here. If I have specific appointment types, I would create those appointment types here. So let's go through the this process here again. Um, so the business name, photo class, and here we'd set up our first appointment type. So let's call this a class. It is 60 minutes. 
and it is 50 bucks and it's a class and we'll have 10 slots a class uh, we can choose the day that we offer this the time whether it's reoccurring and how often and then now we can set up uh, to accept payments which we will do later okay so this is our, our again our scheduling dashboard and we've created our first class and we can set our we can design our scheduling page some more um, we can set our availability and go through this wizard until you have completed it a hundred percent and uh, you can start out on the immersion plan and then you can upgrade to to one of the plans here um, once you have graduated past that first plan all right cool so now we've got our scheduling set up now let's go and register our business as an LLC so I'm in the state of Connecticut and each state has its own process for this uh, so I recommend just googling how to register an LLC in your state and uh, go to the, the government website associated with your state to do this for free you can also uh, consult with a lawyer um, but for our purposes we just need to to register our business with the state so before we do this there's a couple of things that we we need we need to make sure that our business name is unique enough um, that we have a business street address a business n-a-i-c-s code and uh, a business email address which we've already created and the name of our business agent so if you happen to be in Connecticut this is what it looks like when you click register your business so we, we start off by uh, selecting domestic uh, business structure is an LLC uh, do you previously pay did you pre previously pay to reserve this business name no Okay, here we put our business name. Uh, and our business email address, which we uh, kind of just created. And because we didn't really create one, we don't have anything to put there. Um, but the next step would be to um, choose your NAICS and you can figure out what that code should be by using the the lookup tool here and this is just a number that goes along with your industry so you can search all right so we're in the photography industry here and you can see all of these different categories you from passport photography so we'd want to find out whichever is relevant to us and use that as the the code number so there's a couple more fields um, including your business location your key contacts and uh, payment so it is hundred and twenty dollars to register an LLC in my state and once you've done that you'll get an email confirmation with your articles of incorporation and now we can go and set up a business bank account. Now you might want to get an EIN number. Should insert that in here as well. So you can do this um, at the irs.gov or just Google um, how to get an EIN number. It's free. And then you can go ahead and set up a business bank account. Now. Um, I've been using Novo for the past couple of years and Novo is an online business banking solution 
Um, and it's got a, a couple of cool features. One of the features that they've recently rolled out that I like is a, a profit first uh, reserve feature. So if you're not familiar with the profit first accounting method, um, typically it would require having multiple accounts set up. Um, but with Novo, you can do it all within your account. And it's, it's pretty cool. I haven't played around with it too much yet, but um, I have been a, a Novo customer since I think 2021 and uh, definitely happy with their services. So check out Novo. Um, I'll include a link where you can sign up. It, it only takes 10 minutes to sign up and you should get a confirmation within within a day. And then from there, we can claim our Google My Business listing. So GMB. And let me see if I can show you how I can manage mine. So here's mine. And the way this works is you just go through each of the different forms and just update everything that you see. So your images, um, your website, your location, your hours, your phone number, um, send, uh, send it to send your Google list in to friends or cus previous customers to have them add some reviews. And this takes maybe another 10 or 15 minutes just to fully populate your Google My Business listing. Um, but it's free and it really helps. Um, within a, a couple of days, I had someone reaching out and sending a message to find out if we were open or not. Um, since the website is set up, you can link your, your website and your booking link. And our final step once we've got that set up, is to integrate our payment gateway. So setting up Stripe and PayPal, um, both setting up both of these only takes another five or 10 minutes. And now we can link our Stripe and our PayPal account to our, our schedule in here. So see where that is, payment settings. So now I can connect the Stripe account that we've just created and the PayPal that account that we've created so that now when people schedule our uh, schedule to attend our classes, we can receive those payments. Um, and those payments would then go into our account that we've just created. So these are the eight steps that you need to get your business online in under an hour. Congratulations. We've just done it in uh, less than 20 minutes, but we haven't filled out any forms. So if you fill out all the forms, then uh, this should take you take you about an hour. And uh, hopefully it works out for you. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.